Well, it looks like we could be going back to masks, if you can believe it. According to a new report commissioned by the Department of Health and Human Services, that says, quote, the lifting of mask mandates and indifferent attitude towards masking and social distancing, typically in many public and private places, further isolates people with long COVID. An HHS spokesperson stressed to Fox News Digital that the rec recommendation for a new mask mandate came from the study and not from the department itself, but they declined to answer if they support it. And it's also important to note that the department paid for and publicized the study on their website. So Joe, this uh, notion further isolating people with long COVID, yeah. that sounds like a suggestion that because those people may feel like they have to wear a mask, everybody does. Is that what they're getting at? I hope not. Because what we've seen and what we've learned about masks over the last two and a half, almost three years now, is that people don't wear them correctly, for starters, right? How many times do you see a guy walking down the street alone and the mask is below his nose, for example? Or they wear cloth masks, which are not effective. N35s, those are the ones that you have to wear in order to keep COVID out. And then the real problem becomes that, at least in my household, you can do all those things, but then around your house, you're not wearing a mask, right? right. And all it takes is just one, in my case, Kids come home, they may have it, they're asymptomatic, and then before you know it, I think my wife has had it like four times now. Right. Right? So you could do all these measures to try to contain this virus, but in the end, mass or anything else, it's, it's just not going to work. It's going to find you whether you like it or not. The, the question is, how do you treat it and how do you live with yeah, it? Yeah, that N95 max. Uh, Kayla, we're having a conversation about remasking, but do you remember when the president said this in September, the pandemic's over? Watch. Is the pandemic over? The pandemic in, is over. We still have a problem with COVID. We're still doing a lot of work on it. Uh, it's But the pandemic is over. If you notice, no one's wearing masks. Everybody seems to be in pretty good shape. And then I was also reading about this uh, study out of Texas. Texas researchers are recommending that kids wear masks to prevent the flu. Wow. I mean, okay. where does it end <laughs> is the question. And also, what is this about? Is this risk aversion is this fear is this a control tactic what do you think I, it's abusive to our children in many ways um when you consider their emotional development you know one of my daughter's first words was mask and that's so sad that oh. she grew up in this pandemic environment wow. and that's what she saw and it inhibits their emotional learning we know that they need to see facial expressions so it's very sad that it's being considered for flu um also i love how the administration says oh no we're not considering a mask mandate you know they're protesting to foxnews.com well, why would we believe you? Because you never overturned the first mask mandate. That was a judge in Florida named Catherine Meitzel. And while everyone on my airline was celebrating the mask mandate being lifted, you guys were the ones calling it disappointing and considering whether to challenge it in right. court. So we just don't believe you anymore. Natalie, what do you think about this? Well, I think the pandemic is over and the vaccines are out there. The masks are out there. If you want to use them, go ahead and use them. But I think the government needs to at this point admit that that COVID crisis is now behind us. We need to focus on what's at hand. And I think that to your point, children's immune systems have been ruined. A lot of people's immune mm -hmm. systems have been ruined by doing that. And now the question needs to turn to how did this crisis even happen? We need to hold people accountable and the journalists need to become watchdogs, not lapdogs about how this COVID virus yep. got out. Yeah. Uh, and there was uh, there was a big uproar at uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci's mm -hmm. last press briefing yesterday because a reporter was asking that question. How did this you know, what about the lab leak theory? Dr. Fauci and Karine Jean-Pierre stepped in and said, we're not asking that question right now. Also at that press conference, Kat, uh, Dr. Fauci made an interesting comment. Raise some eyebrows. <laughs> watch this. I know sometimes when you walk in and you have a mask and nobody has a mask, you kind of feel guilty. You shouldn't feel guilty. You look terrific. Handshakes are out <laughs> still, according to him. Masks are still in, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, if you want to wear a mask and you're one of those people that's wearing a mask, I don't think you feel guilty. I think you, you feel like uh, however you want to feel about it. Totally. That's up to you. Your feelings are not my responsibility. <laughs> Your feelings about what you wear, whether it's a mask or a sweater or anything else, that's on you. That's not on me. And when you were saying, okay, they're saying masks, I think long COVID, because maybe you have, you have to think about what are they really saying? It's right. kind of confusing. And when you're reaching that point where nobody even really knows what you're talking about anymore, I think it's time to reassess whether you should just leave people That's alone. so true. I had to read it a couple times. Same. I, like, I think this is what they're getting same. at. Same. It's not even <laughs> clear. Should I be smarter and know? But no, it's not I felt the same job way. To totally interpret that. And Natalie, I thought you made a great point. Uh, personal choice. That's yep. what it should always have been about. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.